It is with great pleasure that I welcome you to our senior award ceremony. I do wish that we were able to do this in person. However, I feel fortunate to have the opportunity to work with such an incredible group of students who we will honor here today. To start our ceremony, please join me in standing as our RH singers perform the national anthem. Thank you to our RH singers for providing us the great rendition of our national anthem. Our award ceremony honors our students who have distinguished themselves and are examples of our promising future. We honor their effort, persistence, academic achievement, and character. It is not always an easy road to get to these celebrations, and especially for our seniors this year, that's true. However, it is in the struggle that we often learn the most. It is with the support of family, faculty, staff, and other positive forces in our lives that we are able to be here tonight and celebrate the many successes of our students. I want to say thank you to all of you and our students because it is in our ability to work together that success is found. Robert Kennedy paraphrased a quote from a play written by George Bernard Shaw. The quote is, There are those who look at things the way they are and ask why. I dream of things that never were and say why not. That is what I dream for each of our students. And this is the resilience that we have witnessed from this incredible group of seniors. They have demonstrated for us how to create opportunities and shape their future through hard work and persistence. During this ceremony, we get to stop for a moment to recognize the many strengths and accomplishments of this senior class. Hello everyone, I'm Bo Wright, Superintendent of Schools. We are so happy to honor our seniors for their achievements, especially during this unusual year. I'm proud of how many of our students are being recognized for scholarships and other achievements tonight. Your perseverance is exceptional, and I wish you the very best of luck as you head on to your next adventure. Congratulations, Class of 2021. Good afternoon. My name is Staff Sergeant Vance, and on behalf of the United States Marine Corps, I'd like to present the following awards. For outstanding achievement in and out of the classroom and commitment to academic development, the Scholastic Excellence Award goes to Caleb Serfranic. For superior leadership and commitment to improving oneself on and off the field of play, the Distinguished Athlete Awards go to Parker Hoyt and Alexis Heist. Lastly, for musical excellence and commitment to mastering the art of their instrument, the Semper Fidelis Award goes to Andrew Freeman. Congratulations. Good evening. 
I am Nerland Anselm, Assistant Superintendent for Student and Family Services. I am pleased to announce this year's winners for the Diana D. Strickland Award. This $250 scholarship is in memory of Diana D. Strickland, who had a special concern for kids as evidenced by her nearly 15 years of service with the Rush Henrietta School Board. D. was an active advocate for students, RH sports fan, and community steward, having spent countless hours working on school board projects and cheering on the sports teams. In the spirit of friendship, respect, and admiration for such a special lady, we are pleased to present the D. Strickland Memorial Scholarship Award. This award is given to two graduating seniors who have excelled academically, participated in the interscholastic athletic program, and whose character through community service exemplifies the motto given us by D. These students are going on to higher education with an interest in a math, science, or computer field. At this time, we would like to congratulate two students with these exceptional qualities, and they are Emma Winden and Gabrielle Adamson. The Robert L. Thompson Memorial Scholarship was established by the generosity of friends and family to honor the memory of Bob Thompson. He was an educator and community leader. Mr. Thompson, a 1958 graduate of Rush Henrietta, began his career teaching high school English at his alma mater in 1962 after graduating from Syracuse University. Mr. Thompson joined the Human Resources Department in RH Central Administration before moving to BOCES II. He was a BOCES II administrator for over 25 years. The recipient of this $1,000 award subscribes to the philosophy of service over self and is planning to pursue a degree and career in the field of education, demonstrating excellent achievements in the classroom and in the community. Please let us congratulate Cameron Ritchie. The C. William Goddard Memorial Scholarship is a one-time award of $400 given to one male and one female student who are graduating seniors from RH with at least a B average and a strong commitment to community service and leadership. This year's recipients are Jason Cosmiano and Sarah Warren. Hi, I'm Diane McBride, President of the Board of Education. Tonight I'm presenting the Pioneers Field Scholarship. Rush Henrietta is one of only two districts in the nation to be honored by Pioneer Athletics Fields of Excellence program. This award recognizes the hard work of the district's facilities and ground crew team who transformed our athletic field into a safe and beautiful venue for the class of 2020 graduation ceremony. Along with this honor comes a $1,000 scholarship to be awarded to a current member of the class of 2021. All students are encouraged to apply, but special consideration will be given to students pursuing careers in athletics sports management, athletic trainer, athletic director, etc., facilities, grounds work, or environmental science. I am proud to present the Pioneer Fields Award to Courtney Rowe. Congratulations. I'm here to present the Polish Heritage Society of Rochester Scholarship. 
The Polish Heritage Society of Rochester is a nonprofit organization established in 1919. Their mission is the promotion of rich Polish culture, customs, and traditions, and the preservation of the uniqueness of the Polish American legacy. This year, we are pleased to announce that one Rosh Henrietta senior is the recipient and will receive a $4,000 scholarship. Our winner today are, is Carolina Kostecki. Congratulations, Carolina. Good evening, I'm here to present the Jacobson Memorial Scholarship. This memorial scholarship is for seniors with the intention to pursue a major in the social sciences leading to a career in teaching, law, or diplomacy. Each student shows an achievement of superior academic record, demonstration of maturity of character, and a superior understanding of world social and geopolitical issues. This year's winner of this year's $6,000 scholarship goes to Sunara Tamvir. Hello, I'm Todd Russo, Assistant Principal for the Senior Class. I'm pleased to present this year's winner of the Jerry Sachitella Scholarship Award. Jerry Sachitella was a resident of Henrietta for over 40 years. He is remembered for his wit, sense of humor, and commitment to family. Jerry made all around him feel appreciated and welcome. All three of his sons were athletes and graduates of Sperry High School. They offered the scholarship to RH senior athletes in memory of their father. This scholarship will be awarded to athletes who best exemplify the character of Jerry Sacitella. Outstanding sportsmanship, a team player on and off the field, someone who puts the goals of the team ahead of individual goals, leads by example, and could best be described as an unsung hero. This year, we congratulate Gabriel Adamson. The Eli Fagan Veterans Scholarship Fund, this is a $1,000 scholarship that's awarded to high school seniors who have been accepted at an institution of higher learning. The applicants are selected on the following basis, need, character, Americanism, leadership, and scholarship. The 2021 winners are Zora Mayburus and Jan Lesperance. Congratulations. American Legion Auxiliary Ely Fagan Unit 1151 is proud to award this year's scholarship to Elena Walton. Good evening. My name is Lieutenant Strasner. I am here to represent the Henrietta Professional Firefighters and Dispatchers, Local 3738. Our Henrietta Professional Firefighters Annual Scholarship in the amount of $1,000 is being awarded to Zora Burris. To be considered for our scholarship, one must have a plan to continue their education, be active in extracurricular activities, and demonstrate leadership in their lives. Zora has been accepted to Hawaii Pacific University, where she plans to continue her education. Zora has been active as a gymnastics coach, volunteers in fashion shows, and has shown leadership while on missions trips to foreign countries. We would like to extend our well wishes to Zora Burris and the entire class of 2021 as you graduate and move on to your next endeavor. Hi, I'm Walter Moore, and I'm presenting the Minerva Campbell Award. The Minerva Campbell Awards are presented to students exhibiting literary ability. This annual prose and poetry competition is conducted for middle school and senior high school students attending Rush Henrietta Central Schools and students who reside in Henrietta and attend school elsewhere. This year's winners are, for first place in poetry, Kaylee Bodmer, for her poems, Women's History Month, and to love and be loved. And for second place in poetry, Sunara Tanbir, her poem, Grief is Like Poison. Congratulations to the winners. The Moose Heart of the Community Scholarship. 
There is no better way to help the youth of the Moose fraternity than to offer the opportunity to further their education. That exactly is what the Moose Heart of the Community Scholarship is all about. The students apply for the scholarship in their junior year and are randomly chosen in their senior year. The student must have a GPA of 3.0 or higher, be involved in extracurricular activities in and out of school, and volunteer in the community. This year's winner of the $1,000 award is Abigail Wallen. Congratulations, Abby. This year, Paul Simicata's family has a rare opportunity to present this award together via video. Presenting will be Paul's children and wife, Susie. Paul Simicata was a beloved music teacher in the Rush Henrietta School District for 35 years. He spearheaded the creation of the Sperry Singers, later to be the Rush Henrietta Singers, and initiated their many international exchange programs where many students experienced international travel for the first time. In 2010, alumni coordinated a reunion concert where over 150 former students came to sing with their conductor, Mr. C. In 2016, over 70 of these students were in attendance at his funeral to sing for C one last time. As a choral director, Mr. C always strived to ensure all students were singing together without one voice overpowering another. He valued collaboration and teamwork. These qualities were deeply rooted by his family values, his love of music, and his community service. This memorial scholarship is dedicated to C's love for his singers and to those that exemplify integrity, collaboration, fairness, and generosity inside and outside the classroom. We are happy to announce that this year's recipient of this $1,000 scholarship is Sarah Warren. Good evening, students and staff of Rush Henrietta. I am Deborah David, the president of the Rush Ladies Auxiliary, and I am here this evening to present the Betty Wilkins Scholarship Fund Award. Betty Wilkins was a longtime member of the Rush Ladies Auxiliary who participated in many events to help the community throughout the years. And we are very happy to be able to be giving this reward this evening. One student will be receiving $1,000 $500 from the Rush Ladies Auxiliary. And she is Daniela Herman. Congratulations. We wish you the best of luck on the next chapter of your life. Congratulations to the whole class of 2021. Hello, I'm Jen Allen, counselor at the high school. I'm pleased to present the following awards. The Rochester chapter of the Sons of the American Revolution is proud to recognize public high school students whose commitment to good citizenship follows in the tradition of Alexander Milliner. Throughout the Revolutionary War, Alexander Milliner served as a drummer in General Washington's Life Guard. His commitment to our fledgling country is all the more significant given that drummers were the first targets of enemy fire because they were the primary means of communication between commanding officers and troops on the field. After the war, Alexander Milliner spent the rest of his life in the Adams Basin area near Spencerport. We are proud to present this outstanding citizenship award recognizing the highest ideals of character and citizenship to John May. Congratulations. Red Mentor was a resident of Henrietta for over 50 years who watched with pride as his children and grandchildren graduated from Rush Henrietta schools. Following his service in the Navy during World War II, he became a hardworking HVAC serviceman sought out by local entrepreneurs to assist in building and maintaining many marquee buildings in Rochester. Despite such prominence, he was also known to pay his employer out of his own pocket for residential service calls and simply accept a sandwich from those who were otherwise unable to pay for his service. He is remembered for his sense of humor, strong commitment to family, and selfless caring for others. 
Red had a unique ability to quickly turn strangers into friends and was adored by many as a good person. The Red Mentor $500 Renewable Scholarship is awarded to a student who best exemplifies the character of this remarkable man. Please join me in congratulating Amber Lai. Congratulations. The next award is the Rush Henrietta Rotary Club Scholarship. Over 1.2 million members of Rotary International, the world's first service club organization, form a global network of business, professional, and community leaders who volunteer their time and talents to serve their communities in the world. All Rotary Clubs share a key mission to serve their community and those in need throughout the world. The purpose of this scholarship is to recognize students who have demonstrated Rotary's motto of service above self and have made a commitment to further their education by attending a two or four year college. These $2,000 scholarships are awarded to Sunara Tanvir and Michaela Nealon. Congratulations. Hello, my name is Molly Wallace, school counselor for the class of 2021 for students' last names A through K. The Rush Henrietta Rotary Club James Starkweather Scholarship. This $2,000 scholarship is presented to honor the memory of Mr. James Starkweather. He was a founding member of the Rush Henrietta Rotary Club and a respected educator in the district, serving as a teacher, administrator, and elementary school principal. He was truly a lifelong learner and until his death at 86, was active in community service. This scholarship is given to a graduating senior who is a resident of the Rush Henrietta School District, who has made a commitment to enrolling in college to pursue a major in education and who has demonstrated commitment to community service. This scholarship is awarded to Alexander Fischette. The William A. Korn Memorial Scholarship. Bill Korn graduated from Sperry High School in 1974. He was a tenacious competitor on the football, wrestling, and lacrosse teams. Off the field, he was a fiercely independent person who lived life with great spirit and lots of heart up until his death. In his memory, I'm honored to present this scholarship to a young person who has excelled in the classroom, in the community, and on the RH athletic fields. I am pleased to present the $1,000 William Acorn Memorial Scholarship to Kevin Boncaro. The William J. Welch Memorial Scholarship from the Henrietta Chamber of Commerce. This year, the Henrietta Chamber of Commerce is awarding three $5,000 scholarships to high school seniors who plan on attending either a two-year or four-year college to prepare for a career in business or a business-related field. These scholarships are awarded to students who best exemplify the potential for a business career that will contribute to advancing Henrietta as a community of excellence. Tonight, it gives me great pleasure to introduce three Rush Henrietta seniors who have been awarded this year's William J. Welch Memorial Scholarships. They are Emily Martini, Parker Hoyt, and Lacey Hartman. Congratulations. The Trish Pellerite Foundation Scholarship. The Trish Pellerite Foundation Scholarship was established to honor the memory of Trish Pellerite. She was an RH Sperry student from 1980 to 1984. Trish was committed to overcoming adversity and strove every day to be the best that she could be. At the time of her death, she was Director of Client Services for Sutherland Global Services and was able to travel to places like India, Bulgaria, and the Philippines. She believed education was paramount to her success. After graduating, Trish went on to obtain her bachelor's degree at Roberts Wesleyan and her master's degree at RIT. She was also a certified Six Sigma Black Belt at Xerox Corporation and went through recertification at GE Capital Services through Villanova. 
Trish overcame great adversity, battling cancer for 14 years while maintaining her positive attitude and her joie de vivre. Trish was charitable, compassionate, and a friend to all. These awards were established in her honor to recognize students for overcoming personal adversity and her acknowledging their community volunteerism, which all of our recipients have done. This year's recipients are Zora Burris, Jason Cosmiano, Joshua Gregg, Joshua Hager, Amber Lai, Juliana Newmeyer, and Destiny Parsons. Congratulations to all of you. Hi, I'm Mickey Marlowe, and it's my honor to present the Warner G. J. Kleeman E equals R award. Warner Kleeman guided the Rush Henry School District as a beloved coach, teacher, athletic director, principal, and men mentor and friend for over 30 years and well after retirement. He was a gifted leader who made a difference in so many lives with his E equals R philosophy. The greater the effort, the greater the results. He left a legacy with his time-honored messages of hard work, commitment, sportsmanship, and winning with integrity. He knew the importance of being a student athlete and team player. The applicants have maintained at least an 80% average, have participated in a varsity, varsity sport their junior and senior year, have demonstrated outstanding sportsmanship, sportsmanship and as a team player on and off the field. This year we congratulate Gabe Edmondson and Joshua Gregg. Congratulations. Good evening. My name is Barb Tansky. I'm presenting the Christopher Tansky Memorial Scholarship Awards. My husband was principal of Rush Henrietta Senior High School from August 1994 until August 2000. He always tried to put the students first. He wanted students to know that each and every one of them was a special and unique person, that each and every student had a special gift. With those thoughts in mind, the Christopher Tiansky Memorial Scholarship Fund was established. Students do not have to apply for this award. Faculty and staff are asked for nominations. The award selection committee is comprised of faculty, staff, and students. There are only three basic requirements to be eligible to receive this award. The student cannot be receiving another monetary award of more than $500. The student has done something positive for the RH community, and the student is pursuing further training or studies. For the past 20 years, my son Chris and I have presented over 100 students with a total of more than $25,000 in awards. Sadly, this will be the last year for this scholarship award. Usually we have five scholarship winners, but since this is our last year, we are awarding 10 students with a $250 certificate, $250 a certificate, an ornament, and a framed print. To all the seniors here tonight, I wish you all the best and hope you will treasure your memories of your time at RH. I would like to leave you with this thought. Behind you are all your memories, before you are all your dreams, around you are all who love you, and within you is all you need. It is my honor to present the following students with the 2021 Christopher Tansky Memorial Scholarship Award. My sincere apologies if I mispronounce your name. Sama Al Zadui, John Katina, Brooke Sicoria, Joseph DeGoya, Mohammed Al Dulemi, Nina Fairbanks Glass, Miles Gaston, Jennifer Wynn, May Fong Wynn, and Madison Serapilio. Thank you. The Administrators Association of Rush Henrietta Leadership Award. This award goes to students who have demonstrated leadership qualities, a sense of responsibility, strength of character, and participation in school life. I am pleased to present this award of $250 each to Sanara Tanvir and Cassidy Utter. Congratulations.
the Shriner STEM Merit Award. The Shriner STEM Award is intended to help students entering STEM-related fields. It recognizes Rush Henrietta seniors who excel academically, especially in the area of science, technology, engineering, or math, and who are planning to major in a STEM-related field in college. Please join me in congratulating this year's winners, Kingsley Luan and Ethan Richardson. It often takes a very special teacher to encourage a student to choose a particular field of study. We asked the award recipients if they had a teacher who encouraged them to pursue a STEM-related field. Kingsley chose Mr. Line as the teacher who most influenced him by saying, Mr. Line has been a big influence on my choice to go into the mechanical engineering field because of all the projects we worked on in class. They involve building things to solve a problem and understand how machines work. The design process we use to go from a problem to a finalized solution is interesting and teaches students to be successful as an engineer, which I believe has prepared me to be a mechanical engineer. Ethan chose Mr. Poliot as a teacher who most influenced him by saying, Though I have always been interested in figuring out how things work, and especially in the field of aviation, I had no real experience with engineering until ninth grade when I took principles of engineering and design and robotics. Even though it was an introductory course, you could tell that he cared about teaching us well and often told us how he wished more people would take it as opposed to other courses. Mr. Poet's style was laid back but effective for students who were motivated and interested, which meant that I had the freedom to really explore and experiment during projects. I especially enjoyed using the CAD program, which really opened my eyes to the idea that I could create almost anything. It is that idea that really draws me to the field of engineering. So let us please congratulate these very special teachers on a job well done. Congratulations to Norm Line and Peter Polia. Congratulations. Hi, I'm Franchella Smith and I teach art at the senior high school. The Arts Alive is an annual $500 award presented to a Rush Henrietta student pursuing a career in the arts. Please join me in congratulating this year's winner, Michaela Chambers. Hello, my name is Erin Wright and I'm one of the advisors for National Honor Society. Every year, National Honor Society honors one student who has demonstrated exceptional leadership, service, character, and scholarship. This year, we are proud to announce our $150 scholarship to Giovanna Ebel. Hello. I'm Marie Hamilton with the Rush Henrietta Administrative Support Professionals Unit. The Rush Henrietta Administrative Support Professionals present a scholarship each year to a student who is either related to a member of our employee unit or is planning to major in a secretarial or business related field at a two or four year college. The Administrative Support Professionals Unit includes our school district's secretaries, clerks, health aides, library aides, computer technicians, and many others. This year, the award of $750 goes to Gunnar DeVito. Our second scholarship is the Rush Henrietta Administrative Support Professionals Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship was created to honor members of the Rush Henrietta Administrative Support Professionals who served our district well in the area of administrative support and have since passed away. We remember in particular the members of our unit who went above and beyond in supporting the office of their work, but also those around them. The student who earns this award has demonstrated a caring nature and shows kindness to others, no matter who they are. 
he or she has a strong moral character, has shown dedication and commitment to succeed, and has been accepted at a two or four year college. This year's award of $750 goes to Dinesh Naveed. Hello, my name is Sheila Buck, and I am the president of the Rush Henrietta Employees Association Teachers Chapter. Each year, the RHEA Teachers presents three scholarships of $1,000 each to outstanding seniors who are the children of current, retired, or deceased public school teachers. This year, we are proud to award this, these scholarships to Joshua Hager, Elena Hughes, and Joseph Myron. Congratulations. Each year, the Student Council presents a scholarship to one or more seniors who have been members of Student Council and who have shown outstanding citizenship and service to our school. This year's recipients of $200 each are Cassidy Utter, Jennifer Wynn, and Danielle Thompson. The Rush Henrietta Transportation Carl Dessens Scholarship. This $350 scholarship is presented to a graduating senior residing in the Rush Henrietta Central School District who is related to an RH bus driver. The candidate must display good citizenship, be in good academic standing, and possesses above average character. The student must also be planning to attend either a two or four year college. This year, there are two scholarship winners. Congratulations to Jacqueline Crane, and Grace Neville. Great job. My name is Ron Smith. My fellow bus driver, Mike Bell, was a huge wrestling fan and a former wrestler too. He would have been extremely proud to present this award to you. I'd like to read a short poem by Linda Ellis. I read of a man who stood at the funeral of a friend. He referred to the dates on his tombstone from the beginning to the end and spoke of the following date with tears. But he said that what mattered most of all was the dash between those years. For that dash represents all the time he spent alive upon this earth. And only those who loved him knew what that little line is worth. For it matters not how much we own, the cars, the house, the cash. What matters is how we live and love and how we spend our dash. If we could just slow down enough to consider what's true and real and always try to understand the way that others feel, to be less quick to anger and show appreciation more and love the people in our lives like we have never loved before. If we treat each other with respect and more often wear a smile, remembering that this special dash might only last a little while. So when your eulogy is being read with your life's actions to rehash, will you be proud of the things they say about how you spent your dash? Michael, your academics and wrestling accomplishments in high school years certainly continue to enhance your dash and will continue to be something you can be very proud of. Congratulations, Michael, and always aim high. Thank you. Hello, my name is Pat McHugh. I'm the Assistant Superintendent for Human Resources and School Accountability, and it's my pleasure to present these awards to our seniors and to congratulate all of our seniors on their graduation and tonight's uh, award recipients for their outstanding achievement. Our first award is the Society of Mayflower Descendants Compact Award. 
and this award recognizes two students for proficiency in the study of the history of the United States and the understanding of the Constitution. The two recipients will receive a Mayflower Compact Certificate and a $100 check. And our recipients are Frederick Miller and Caleb Sopranic. Congratulations. The Wegmans Scholarship Program. The Wegmans Scholarship Selection Committee evaluates on work performance and selects the winners in the annual scholarship competition. On behalf of Wegmans and in recognition of their excellence at both work and school, I am proud to present the following annual Wegmans scholarships, each for $1,500, to these students. Aliyah Allen, Taylor Amadon, Jenna Brock, Alex Frechette, Maya Cromer, Emily Martini, Adriana Neumeyer, Alexis Oshley, Haley Smith, Cassidy Utter, Alex Ventresca, Abby Willent, and Jamaria Williams. Congratulations. The Rush Henrietta Paraprofessionals Association Scholarship is a $300 scholarship awarded to two graduating Rush Henrietta seniors who are pursuing a career in education or child development with a current GPA of 80% or higher. Please join me in congratulating Maylin Harris and Emma Winden. Hi, my name is Mark Cronin. And I'm Melissa Cronin. And we are proud today to present the first of what we hope is an annual Mark and Melissa Cronin Rush Henrietta Scholarship, trying to reward a very talented young student in our area with their plans to go to college. We had intended to provide one $3,000 scholarship for next academic year, but the applications were so good, we decided instead to award one scholarship, but also two runners-up. So we first want to tell you who the runners-up are, who each receive a $500 scholarship for next academic year. They are Chantel Jackson and Amber Lai. Congratulations to both of you. We are very, very impressed with your applications. And then the ultimate winner of the $3,000 scholarship we're proud to present is Katie Wynn. Congratulations, Congratulations. to all of you. The Daniel McMurray Memorial Scholarship supports the artistic endeavors of college-bound seniors pursuing a degree in music, and it also honors the memory of the late Daniel McMurray. Mr. McMurray served as a role model to the hundreds of students who benefited from his instruction during his time at Rush Henrietta. Mr. McMurray was truly an inspiration. He demonstrated the utmost degree of teaching excellence and supreme musicianship. His fine tutelage inspired many students to pursue degrees in the field of music. Tonight, on behalf of the Daniel McMurray Scholarship Fund, we hope to preserve the dedicated legacy of Mr. McMurray by awarding the Daniel McMurray Scholarship of $500 to Kristen Berry. Hi, I'm Andy Whitmore, Assistant Superintendent of Finance and Operations for Rush Henrietta School District. It's my honor to present the County Executives Community Service Award Program. The County Executives Community Service Award Program is designed to recognize the many volunteer contributions our young people make to our community in Monroe County. Students who receive this award serve as role models for their peers and others. These inspiring young people are compassionate, caring, and committed to helping others. They make the world in Monroe County a better place. This year, we recognize Joshua Hager and Jennifer Newen. 
congratulations, Josh, Joshua and Jennifer. It is also my pleasure to announce the Monroe County Council of School Superintendents Senior Recognition Award. This award is the superintendent's choice of the most outstanding senior student based on scholarship, service, and character. The award this year goes to Katie Newen. Congratulations, Katie. To the students, parents, faculty, and school administrators of Rush Henrietta Senior High School, thank you for inviting me to participate in your ceremony. My name is Ted O'Brien, and I'm delighted to join you on behalf of the New York State Attorney General's Office. Our office has a long tradition of recognizing New York's hardworking students. The Triple C Award program was created to acknowledge and encourage students across the state whose character, commitment, and courage distinguish them within their schools and within their communities. Without question, each of this year's Triple C winners can take great pride in their personal achievements and accomplishments that have earned them their nomination for this prestigious award. They've truly earned today's recognition. Therefore, I am honored to announce that the following students earned the Triple C Award. Emily Russell and Cassidy Utter. On behalf of the New York State Attorney General's Office, congratulations to Emily and Cassidy on the hard work that has led to today's awards. Congratulations. Hi, I'm Dina Wilson, Assistant Superintendent for Instruction. The New York State Office of the Comptroller Student Achievement Awards are presented each year to students who have excelled academically and have also shown leadership potential by volunteering to serve in their school and in their community. Comptroller Dinopoli sends his sincere congratulations to the following students and his best wishes to the class of 2021. The recipients are Alexis Heiss and Jared Wood. Congratulations. The University of Rochester Dexter Perkins History Award. One senior who is outstanding in history is nominated for this annual award. The award will be a reminder of the rich possibilities of historical inquiry and hopefully will encourage the prize winner to explore history among other disciplines during their college career. This year, the winner of the Dexter Perkins History Award is receiving a book by Dr. Laura Ackerman Smoller, Professor of History and Department Chair at the University of Rochester. This award goes to Sonara Tanvir. Congratulations. Alfred University Scholarship. Alfred University has always been considered outside the ordinary. Alfred University is offering this scholarship opportunity of $18,000 to $30,000 per year to a high school senior who has lent a helping hand to those that need it most, had to work to help support their family, made a difficult decision to give something up to complete their coursework, and demonstrated who they are as an individual and how they can bring that same inspiration to the Elford community. This year's winner is Zachary Lowry. Congratulations, Zach. Hi, my name is Doreen Blankenbush and I'm the coordinator of the TIES program at Rush Henrietta. The TIES program, together including every student, was created to provide the participation in extracurricular and community activities to our students with developmental disabilities. Our trained student volunteers provide this individualized support so that their peers who have a disability can enjoy success, friendship, independence, and belonging as members who are active in the Rush Henrietta community.
as Ties volunteers, students have attended after school activities such as drumming circles, cooking classes, lunch support, homeroom support, and sports activities, as well as the senior ball and junior prom. Our students serve as mentors so that the student with disabilities can experience many of these activities and social events the same way as all of our students do. This year, we would like to recognize the following seniors who have made a deep difference, a significant difference, and an important difference in many students' lives. They are Anthony Salento, Olivia Flack, Sydney Hart, Ravlene Kaur, Emily Laird, Katie Nguyen, Elena Walton, Jenna Walton. It is my hope that they continue to work with students of all disabilities and that they enjoy great success in their future endeavors. Thank you. Next, we'll have our department awards. These awards are given by each department to seniors who have shown outstanding effort or have shown great improvement throughout the current school year. Each department will recognize students individually. We will start with our art department. Hi, I'm Franchella Smith and I teach art at the senior high school. This year, the Rush Henrietta Senior High School Art Department is pleased to present the following awards. Outstanding academic achievement go to Sunara Tanvir and Courtney Toole. Our Royal Comet Awards this year Go to Michaela Chambers, Madison Serapilio, and Joshua Gregg. Congratulations to everyone. Hello, my name is Colleen Murphy and I teach business at the Senior High School. The Business Department is pleased to present the following awards. For Outstanding Academic Achievement, Parker Hoyt. For the Royal Comet Award in Grade 12, Sophia Tirabasi, Thomas Bowie, and Santi Carell. Congratulations to all of our winners. Hello, this is Mr. Abel. I'm a teacher in the English department at the high school and I'm here to present the 12th grade English department awards. For the 12th grade outstanding award, Xavier Dingle. For the 12th grade Royal Comet Awards, Emma Farrington, Cora Putnam, Katie Wynn, Aiden Adu Khalil, Mohammed Al Dulami, Natasha King, and Aaliyah Allen. Congratulations. Hello, my name is Jessica Burdick Giordano, and I teach English as a New Language at the high school. I am honored to present the awards for the ENL department for Outstanding Academic Achievement, Miriam Shabazz and Raju Pradhan. For the Royal Common Award, Aisha Shabazz, Baba Spada Rivera, Sama El Zawadi, and Fung Mai Win. Congratulations. Hi, my name is Christy Snitchler and I teach Family Consumer Science at the high school. I am happy to present the awards for the seniors. For outstanding academic achievement, the awards go to Mindy Sun and Sabine Kelly. For the Royal Comet Awards, they go to Brandon Tang and Leighton Bonjon. Congratulations, everyone. You deserve it. Hi, I'm Lindsay Williams from the High School Health Department. It is my pleasure to announce this year's winners of the Health Awards. For the Outstanding Academic Achievement in Grade 12, the winner is Claudia Slocum. The Royal Common Award for Grade 12 goes to Sarah Armstrong, Malin Harris, and Jameson Atcham. Congratulations to all our winners. Hello, my name is Leslie Samara and I teach French at the Senior High School. The Lowe Department is pleased to present the following awards. For Outstanding Academic Achievement at Grade 12, Jayla Simlin. And the winners of our Royal Comet Awards are um, Ali El Obeidi, Katie Wynn, and Abigail Lampier. Congratulations to all our winners. 
Hello, my name is Laura Sunderland and I'm a math teacher here at the senior high school. The math department is pleased to present the following awards. Each award will be read by the teacher of the winning student. For outstanding academic achievement in grade 12 is Josh Hager. And the winners of our Royal Comet Award are... Emma Farrington. Kate Coriel and Nathaniel White. Hi, I'm Dave Klug. I'm the Senior High School Orchestra Director, and it's my pleasure to announce the Senior Awards for Music. The Outstanding Academic Achievement Award goes to Megan Picard. Royal Comet Award for 12th grade music goes to Aiden Duke, Amelia Barlow, and Sarah Warren. The John Philip Sousa Award goes to Daniela Herman. The Louis Armstrong Jazz Award goes to Dylan Lip. The National School Choral Award goes to Ethan Richardson. And the National School Orchestra Award goes to Kristen Berry. Good evening, I'm Coach Montesano, and it is my pleasure to represent the Senior High School Physical Education Department of Coach Fagan, Coach Pusateri, Coach Basil, Coach Kleeman, Coach Rotola, and Coach Long. Our Outstanding Acad Academic Achievement Awards in Grade 12 this year, the winner is Vanessa Du. The Royal Common Award for Grade 12 goes to Jaden Hall, Emma Winden, and Damian DiNatale. Congratulations to all our winners. Hi, I'm Kaylin Pollard from the Senior High School. I teach Chemistry and Human Body Systems, and I'm pleased to award this year's Science um, Awards. For Outstanding Academic Achievement in Grade 12, we have Carolina Kutztecki. For the Royal Common Award in Grade 12, we have Damian DiNatale, Courtney Rowe, and Luel Abdi. Congratulations to all of our winners. Hi, I'm Joe Samantha from the Technology Department at the high school. It is my great pleasure to announce the winners of this year's Technology Awards. For Outstanding Academic Achievement in Grade 12, the winner is Tom LaRocca. The Royal Comet Award for Grade 12 goes to Prasan Tapa, Gabriel Adamson, and Joe DeJoya. Rush Henrietta students have been named commended students in the National Merit Scholarship Program. Commended students placed among the top 5% of more than 1.5 million students who entered the 2019 competition by taking the 2019 Preliminary SAT and National Merit Scholarship Qualifying Test. Approximately 34,000 students nationwide are being recognized for their exceptional academic promise as demonstrated by their outstanding performance in this highly competitive program. The young men and women named commended students represent some of the most academically talented students in the country. Rush Henrietta is proud to recognize Rohan Single, Timothy Henschel, and Kingsley Luan, all for outstanding performance. Congratulations. Three Rush Henrietta students have been named as finalists in the 2019 National Merit Scholarship Program. 
the selection of 7,500 merit scholarship winners from the group of more than 15,000 finalists is currently in progress by the National Merit Scholarship Corporation. This year we recognize the following Rush Henrietta students for advancing to the finalist standing. Zyver Dingle, Elhor Hassan, and Ethan Richardson were all finalists. Congratulations. Out of approximately 1.6 million students who entered the 2021 National Merit Scholarship Program, only about 16,000 are named as semifinalists. They are designated on a state representational basis in proportion to each state's percentage of the national total of graduating high school seniors. In order to advance in the competition and to be considered for a Merit Scholarship Award, a semifinalist had to become a finalist by fulfilling several requirements that included submitting a detailed scholarship application and presenting a record of very high academic performance. About 7,500 National Merit Scholarships are chosen from the group out of approximately 15,000 distinguished finalists. This year, we recognize the following Rush Henrietta student who was chosen as a $2,500 scholarship finalist. The award goes to Ethan Richardson. Congratulations. The New York State Scholarships for Academic Excellence. This program provides scholarship assistance to outstanding New York State high school graduates. Each year, 8,000 scholarships are awarded. 2,000 scholarships will have a value of $1,500 each and 6,000 scholarships will have a value of $500. Scholarship winners must attend a college or university in New York State. Awards are renewable for up to five years of undergraduate study in New York State. Awards are based on student grades in certain regents' exams. Our one $1,500 scholarship recipient is Ethan Richardson. Congratulations. We have eight $500 scholarship recipients. Congratulations to Maylin Hornbuckle, Alexis Heist, Joshua Hager, Paige Varney, Clara Tucker, Kingsley Luan, Carolina Kostecki, and Grace Torino. Congratulations. Scholastic letters are awarded each spring in recognition of those students who have shown consistent academic achievement by being named to the honor roll on a regular basis. Seniors may earn the letter by the accumulation of points awarded for honor roll placement by the end of the third, semester, third quarter of each year. Seniors are eligible by earning a minimum of 25 points in 15 quarters. Scholastic letters are received only once, so some students receive them as juniors. Details may be found in the student's agenda. Please join me in congratulating the following students as you read their names scrolled through the presentation. President's Award for Educational Excellence. The President's Education Award Program, sponsored by the U.S. Department of Education in partnership with the National Association of Secondary School Principals, was developed to help principals recognize and honor students who have achieved high academic goals by their hard work and dedication to learning. 
These awards recognize seniors who have maintained an A average or 90% or higher and who have high achievement in reading or math on state or nationally normed tests. This year's recipients of the President's Award for Educational Excellence are as follows. Please read through all the names so that you can congratulate all the students on the President's Award for Ex Educational Excellence. Congratulations. As a reminder for our students, please make sure you acknowledge the sponsors of the scholarships and awards you have received this evening by sending a thank you note as soon as possible. Um, I want to thank everyone for watching our ceremony and joining in our celebration of the many successes of our students. I would especially like to thank Ms. Kathleen Moss, Mrs. Tracy Ottman, Mrs. Cheryl Diana, Mrs. Sarah Kimmel, and Ms. Anna Bowersmith for all of their work to make this celebration possible. I'd also like to thank our presenters, the work of our faculty and staff, and our students and their families for demonstrating true resilience and perseverance. Congratulations to all of our students on the awards this evening and the work they have done in their high school careers. Congratulations. <music>